His cause for canonization is gaining momentum as officials in the Diocese of Brooklyn try to raise awareness. So who was Father Felix Varela and what makes him stand out? Let's see how the work he did 200 years ago is still relevant today as people around the country celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Here we have the Pusitio um, that was uh, written in order to present to um, the, the Holy Father on the virtues of Felix Varela. Retired was, um, Auxiliary Bishop Octavio written. Cisneros is the first to admit he didn't know much about Felix Varela as a young man growing up in Cuba. But now he's spearheading Varela's cause for sainthood in the Diocese of Brooklyn. He was a voice that spoke for the church with gentleness, with kindness, but with forcefulness. Varela was a Cuban politician, scientist, musician, journalist, and priest. He represented Cuba in Spanish parliament, but was outspoken on issues like ending slavery and freeing the Spanish colonies. He was eventually sentenced to death and exiled. He left his affluent upbringing and education behind and came to New York City in the 1820s to minister to mostly Irish immigrants who were living in poverty. When he comes to New York, he faces the immigrant population and he becomes the priest, the pastor, the shepherd to help the people of New York at that time. He truly is an example for all of us. Las consecuencias de los sucesos durante el año. Bishop Cisneros and Father Christopher Henyu, the coordinator of the Irish Apostolate in the Diocese of Brooklyn, are raising awareness for Varela's cause for sainthood. He was declared a venerable by Pope Benedict XVI in 2012. This is a great way to kind of raise that awareness. You can't make someone a saint if people aren't praying through his intercession. As New York City accommodates a surge of migrants, Bishop Cisneros and Father Henu say Felix Varela's legacy is a poignant reminder of what the newly arrived need most. We need someone who will fight for them, someone who will treat them with dignity and respect, advocate for the poor and the needy is a, a great lesson learned. This year marks 200 years since Varela arrived in New York City and the 170th anniversary of his death. A miracle that would confirm Varela's beatification is currently being investigated by the Congregation of Saints. Earlier this year, Bishop Cisneros and Father Henyu hosted a gala in honor of Felix Varela. They raised $80,000. The money will go toward creating promotional material to help continue to raise awareness for his cause for canonization. Father Varela has forever made his mark in the Diocese of Brooklyn. A new center named after the Cuban priest was dedicated on Friday. Padre, hijo, Y Espíritu Santo. Amen. Retired Brooklyn Auxiliary Bishop Octavio Cisneros blessed the food pantry and soup kitchen named after the possible future saint, as well as the workers who will be feeding the poor and the homeless every week at the soup kitchen and every month at the food pantry. The center was part of the feast celebration of the patron of Our Lady of Sorrows Church in Corona, Queens. Ahead of the opening, the parish processed with an image of the Blessed Mother after they celebrated mass, then came back out on the streets for a party. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.